song. Hey guys, um, welcome back to Buzzy Bees. Uh, we are just doing another bit of a night harvest. We can see a couple of bees here. Had a bit of an argument by the looks of it. Very interesting. There you go, the things you see at night. Hmm. Okay, so uh, can't see those guys anywhere anymore. Um, so we're just doing a bit of a night harvest here and I'll go through a bit of an apiary update. But as you can see, I've got one going already. We're fairly full in here, to be quite honest. Uh, it's um, very full indeed. So I'm just um, getting these little fellas going. Uh, you can see I've got a bit of an ant problem here, which I, I plan to take care of with um, peppermint oil. But at the moment I haven't done it as yet so I will but um, you can see there's a couple of little a little infestation up here which is very annoying um, but they're not too bad they can't get into anything and as you can see I try and seal those off as nicely as possible and strain it afterwards um, it's very annoying um, give you a quick apiary update but I'll come back to these little guys over here I'm gonna go over to this one over here first so this is a flow hive one with a or oh, sorry flow hive two with a flow hive one on top um, so I've actually got a double super here. Very, very healthy hive, as you can see. Uh, it's about eight, 20 past eight here at night. Um, give you a bit of an update in here. So it doesn't appear to be too much in there. You can see there's beetle galore in there. So um, I just recently went and did some pest control in this one, which is very annoying, but they are trying to take care of them and they have been cut down. Those blasts. Small hive beetle are a very annoying pest, as we all know. Um, you can see here, that is absolutely full to the brim in the middle four, and has been for quite a while, and the two sides are fairly similar to what you saw. The other side's got a little bit more in it, and less pests, thankfully. So that's the top box. This is the bottom box and uh, you can see here we are fairly full um, so they're, they're filling up quite this so this is the reason why this took a little bit longer is because I put this on there as a I put the two on there sorry the one on there as um, uh, an already um, developed box and um, this one's gone on fresh so uh, we've got some people coming back here to check us out um, have a quick look in this one Lovely glistening cells. We'll have a quick look at this one too. There's our friend. Feisty one. Give us a bit of a buzz. We might just move away from there for a second because I'm not overly keen on being stung tonight. <laughs> Alright. So I'll have another look in here. Um, this is also one of our the new splits so these guys are doing really well these guys are a really amazing looking bee I don't know whether you can see it in there they're very cute little yellow fluffy ones um, a little bit different to some of the other guys but very very gorgeous little bees I love that little hive very cute um, they're just getting started so this hive here is going very very strongly um, Come around the front here. There we go. Very healthy. I don't know if you can zoom in on that one over there. Look at that. Yeah, very well. So we won't push our luck with those little guys because they seem fairly feisty over there. Come back here. Get that going all the way now. Good harvest already, wow. Going gangbusters. All right, so quick update. This one is very strong as always. Um, it's double brood box, so um, I literally can't empty the honey enough 
quicker, quick enough out of these little guys at the moment. Um, they are killing it. So I'm um, very happy with these guys. This one was a split um, done back in September. Um, doing okay. Not really growing fantastically. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a user landing board. So doing okay. Um, certainly not unhealthy. Some beetle in there. Put some traps in there this weekend. Just gone. Uh, it's Thursday night, so been doing well. This one here, again, very strong. Um, and put some traps in there on the weekend. Um, doing doing fairly well. Let's see if we can get some wood with the landing board. Yep. Now, this is our problem hive. So this, if you remember, before I went away for about a five-week period, uh, I left this. Um, this is the original one of the original flow hives. I left this one without a queen. They made a queen. Uh, now, recently you would have seen my epic split fail, and I believe um, that was as a result of the another one here. Oh, that was some very quick buzzers, uh, some very close buzzers. So, I, I believe the split. Uh, sorry, the um, the uh, swarm that I tried to catch that ended up causing the the issue with that split came from this hive so I believe they potentially have a queen in there I haven't managed to find her I found some small grubs so it certainly would appear as though still getting buzzed here there we go um, certainly would appear as though there's one in there however I opened it up and they were absolutely infested with hive beetle so I put a couple of um, traps in there and as you can see, there's ants on the box, never a good sign. I've put, I've done everything I can to try and clean that hive up. Um, I will be getting into it again this weekend, uh, possibly even tomorrow morning, just to check it out. But unfortunately, it's not looking good for this hive. So put a couple of frames of brood and eggs in there. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get something out of it. Um, hopefully we'll get some success out of it but uh, certainly needs some extra strength, this little one. Um, probably end up feeding as well if they're still there. I, I, I'll, now that this, one, this other bee stopped buzzing me, I'll come over here. And you can see the landing board is almost non-existent. In fact, there's more ants on there. So I'm not even convinced there is any bees in there. I can't hear a hum. Down here. So yes. It's not looking great for that hive. Um, anyway, uh, look, you, you win some and you lose some with beekeeping, as we all know. Um, but I'm certainly trying to save that one. Um, love all my bees equally, of course, but um, you know, some are just beyond help when they, you know, swarm and carry on. So, hence why um, I guess hive maintenance is so important. And I was probably away at the worst possible time back in October, November. But we live and learn. Um, so that was just a quick video, quick update guys. I, I am going to try and get into some more videos um, and do some more learning stuff. Um, you know, actually, um, you know, doing more videos where I can uh, help you guys out and, and learn myself, of course, because I'm, I'm by no means a professional. Um, but if you have anything you'd like to learn more about, um, please leave a comment to, to sort of oh, suggestions for videos. I'm happy to take suggestions. Um, please like, subscribe, comment if you wish. Um, but you really appreciate all your support. Um, the little channel is growing, albeit a little bit slowly, but that's that's fine. Um, and yeah, look, if you can uh, participate at all, we really appreciate it, guys. So thanks very much for listening. Just one other thing I did want to show you before we go. Next harvest I do, I'm going to harvest this frame which I've harvested before, and the, the really cool part about harvesting this frame is you get to see exactly how a fly hive works. So that is one that is ready to go and has been for a good few weeks. So stay tuned for that one. I did, didn't want to do it tonight because I want to be able to get a really nice view, and I'll probably do that one during the day. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching, and uh, see you again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.